the moment you see the little gentle flame of the ignition kind of convert from that to the hardcore mock diamond, and there's that delay, and then you hear the grumble of the engines roaring along, and then all of a sudden you hear this like this the kind of step up of volume goes. <laughs> that sent chills down my back. That's probably the point where my heart goes accelerates up to a thousand miles per hour. But to actually experience it yourself in person, that was glorious. Being that close to a launch, you can feel it in your chest and you can hear it. It's just a big moment to take in. And uh, that's definitely inspired me for what I do. To be able to see startups take off successfully, actually pretty close to my hometown, it was just phenomenal. You know, words don't describe it. I've launched a couple of other rockets close to this size. I get literal butterflies in my stomach just because the stakes of something goes wrong are particularly high. We had not only Maine's first commercial rocket launch, not only the world's first commercial rocket launch powered by biodrived fuel, but also the world's first rocket recovered by snowmobile. But it was also one of a tiny handful of uh, first flights of a new aerospace technology that was totally successful. Really what rocket science means is collaborating so many different fields of study for one goal, you know, one purpose. You are bringing every single corner of engineering and science sort of all together. You know, when I was a little kid, a lot of people go through like cycles of like, I want to be this, I want to be a firefighter, I want to be, you know, a bunch of different things. But for some reason, I was always just like sold on astronaut. Like I was always just taken by the stars and I was like, I want to go there so bad. And then in middle school, uh, you know, I found out that I was colorblind, um, I needed corrected vision, you know, things that didn't really uh, work for an astronaut. So I said to myself, well, okay, um, you know, I'll do the next best thing I can think of and, and I'll, I'll build, you know, all of the vehicles that get astronauts to where they're going. In undergraduate, I was lucky enough to have an internship with NASA at the Marshall Space Flight Center, which really got me going down the road of propulsion and aerospace and rockets and inspired my honors thesis uh, that I did at UMaine, which is what Sasha actually read when he brought me on, on board with Blue Shift. In the world, there are probably over 120 or 140 different companies developing rockets. It's probably in the single digits in terms of the percentage of rocket companies that go from building a rocket and stuck in the rocket engine phase to actually launching a rocket. That puts us firmly in a whole different class of rocket companies. We are making history, and we are just the most visible part of this much larger group of businesses and governmental entities that want to see Maine lead. I think we've just seen the start of what Blue Shift and the state of Maine can do. I've actually been working with a few of these team members since college. I think our skill sets are extremely complementary, where we have someone who's just amazing at lead designing and, and leading a team. We have someone who's very good at analysis. Uh, I like to do it all. I like to get my hands dirty and be involved with every step of the situation. More than anything else, I bring such passion to the job. I know that probably a lot of people are passionate about space and would claim to be, you know, the most passionate, but I'm gonna make that claim as well. I will give Blue Shift basically like everything I've got to see it succeed. It is amazing to be on this team. I'm, I'm proud of the team and what we've accomplished and what we're going to accomplish. And getting to share the story of Blue Shift has just been the opportunity of a lifetime. Blue Shift fundamentally has the right recipe of team, of technology, of location and market to be successful within just a few years and really shape the aerospace industry, not only in Maine, but beyond our borders.